And all of them Ganguly said what meeting they used to do. An exclusive update from the famous city park. The Indian Embassy officials in Yemen speculate that there are more Indians standing in the country and they have not registered themselves for evacuation. And the others. We don't think that maybe 10,000 people will be now be registered there, but I think that more people. Earlier in the day, two Indian warships from Mumbai Naval Base were sent to escort the two ships that left the Cochin port. The warships can accommodate around 600 people. The Foreign Ministry spokesman, Sayar Akbaruddin, in a press release said that a larger vessel which can accommodate around 1,500 people will arrive in Thailand. Moving on to the paradise on Earth, Kashmir. Continuous rainfall in Kashmir have caused water from Kulam River to rise above the range mark. Our team brings you the problems on the ground. Heavy rainfall and snow over the past four days has raised flood alarms in the Kashmir region. 17 deaths have been reported so far and a number of relief camps have been set up. Just when Barsha started, everybody started panicking because uh, rain was uh, quite heavy. Jhelum is the area hai, like Raj Park, Wazir Park and uh, Kashmiri Association in Bangalore has voiced concerns over the conditions and is in constant touch with their family and friends. So we had uh, rain on the Jammu side, like uh, south of Kashmir, lot of rain we had over there. We have sent about 40 to 69 lakh rupees aid from uh, here. 500 or 600 beds were sent to the Kashmir and all other things. The Med Department has predicted more rain and snowfall in the coming few days. It remains to be seen how the state will cope with the situation. This is the broadcast team reporting for CityCast. Series of deaths on Mysore Road has kept the police busy. Two deaths on Mysore Road railway track in a span of 24 hours leave the police clueless. Our reporters Neha Saha and Sumed will be with more on this. Two incidents that caused two deaths 48-year-old Venkatesh and a 35-year-old lady died after being struck by trains in a span of 24 hours yesterday. In another incident, a 35-year-old woman whose identity remained unclear to city cars died after being hit by a train in the early hours yesterday. Locals explain how the incident took place. Uh, andre, ninne the six or seven o'clock Train In what time? Body. Fifty yeah, out agide. Train Fifty pieces. Fifty pieces agide. Fifty-one body alla. Fifty man. Uh, the two year agirbud. On further investigation, Citycast understood that there has been a constant number of incidences happening on the Mysore Road railway stretch in the recent years. The Nayandahalli station master says dead bodies are a common sight in this street. This is Nehasa and Sumit Pilgi reporting for CityCast. You lose your vehicle, you might not get it back. Our reporter Parmeshwar Malwa reports vehicle theft cases are piling up. City Crime Record Bureau data says more than 70% of motor vehicle theft cases registered in the year 2013 and 14 are yet to be solved by the city police. My uh, Maruti Omni, 19th Rajko Vanta, 20th Suba Chori Ho Gaya Tha. My station ko jaake complaint likhwane gaya tha. Aaj ek 24th mere ko FIR copy mila hai. My station se touch me tha. Wo log bol raha hai. Ham bhi doon raha hai gadi. Mil gaya to main hami aapko phone kar denge karke bol raha hai. Abhi tak mera gadi nahi mila hai. Similarly, in the year 2014, 356 cases were solved. Police say that. Thieves use stolen vehicle to snatch chains and later leave these vehicles in public parking lots. The police have started tracking these vehicles to trace their owners. So we have so many such people in every city uh, taking up this kind of uh, business. And they will be encouraging uh, car thieves hmm. to go and steal cars and, and then to National Crime Record Bureau says Karnataka stands second in motor vehicle theft cases registered in the South India. 
परमेश्वर राव मालबा रिपोर्टिंग फॉर सिटी कास्ट Illegal construction of shops in Kiar Market has raised five safety concerns for the shopkeepers. Our reporter Salini Sharma finds out more. Construction of 14 new shops at Kiar Market has blocked the fire exit of the building. This illegal construction is raising fire safety concerns for the shopkeepers. It has to be opened so that there will be good ventilation and in case in tomorrow if anything fire uh, happens, we are, we are, uh, people are going to face the problem. Earlier, government had given the order to stop the construction of new shops at lower basement as this idea is used for ventilation. जगह कोसा भी दुकान अलाट नहीं करना होगा। फिर भी ये दुकान के ऊपर दुकान मना रहा है, किसी का भी इज्जत नहीं रख रहा है। The deputy director of the fire department, Virappa, says that the shop owners that were already present in the basement approached us to complain about the new shops. The new shops didn't take any NOC certificate from the fire department. BBMP is blaming the previous commissioner for this construction. But so what they are built now, shops in market, you are not give, you are not our company is not given the permission. Today is allotted that shops. The Lakshman is not allotted the shops. BBMP should immediately take steps to stop this illegal construction to prevent any fire outbreak. This is Shalini Sharma reporting for Citycast. Delhi and road works by Tendosha affects businesses across central Bangalore. Our reporter Tushar Vanyawala brings you grievances from commuters and business owners. Business owners across central Bangalore are a restless bunch. Construction work under tender shore has impacted their livelihood. The sales has dropped by 50 percent. 50 percent, and uh, we are not able to pay our rent or salary. So the it doesn't move. The traffic doesn't move at all. It has uh, really crippled us. Project has missed the deadline of March 2015. BBMP councillor blamed the contractor for the delay. It is denied on the part of the agency. In the work order itself, uh, the corporation have mentioned the deadline for the completion. One year they are taken to the left side of the road. The, they have just started the, ne uh, the opposite side of the road, which will take another one year. So one year we have somehow survived. If it takes another one year, we'll This is Tushar, reporting for CityCast. Going out of the city, it's now a costly affair. The Navayuga Devnahali Tollway Private Limited, also popularly called as the Airport Toll Gate, is all set to hike toll rates once again, putting private cab drivers in the city in complete distress. Road and uh, April 1st will be enhancement for all. So normal rates will be there, 4 to 5 rupees, that's it, not much more. It's including of all classifications, rather 5 classifications, approximately 35,000 per day. A 5 rupee hike will increase the present rate. Of rupees 115 to rupees 120. This difference, though a small amount, will bring an additional profit of 1,75,000 rupees on a daily basis. This is local taxi. We can pay 115 rupees from our pocket. Yes, sir. This is six months. We have a thin time increase. How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? Two years back, 30 rupees. When the increase in toll rates happens too often, it burns a hole in the pocket of the common man. This is Paul Uman reporting for CityCast. The Bangalore traffic police does not go easy on commuters while flouting traffic violations. But what happens when these lawmakers turn lawbreakers? Our reporter Shamik Ghosh with more on this. Section 336 of the Indian Penal Code makes the usage and the sale of non-ISI certified helmets a punishable offence. But the traffic constables and policemen across the city ride around without helmets and the ones they use are not ISI certified. Okay. ISI market is only one. Okay. Uh, you have a helmet in the ISI market? We yeah? have ISI market. We have a police helmet. Okay. We have ISI market. Okay. 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 So, is this full protection offer? Ironically, even the police department believes that wearing ISI certified helmets ensures the safety of the rider, but shies away from enforcing the rule, laying the onus on the rider. The selected uh, ISI mod helmet, mm -hmm. it is for safety. 
it is for shoki helmet what is the use right but we can't uh, able to check on spot it's an sa mark or is it fake with rising number of fatalities the bangalore police's response to enforcing road safety falls short of expectations this is shomik ghosh reporting for city cast No news coming up on the other side. Stay tuned. Size doesn't matter. Stay healthy. The Karnataka Amateur Rowing Association, functioning from Al Sur, talks about the degrading quality of boats. Two fifty boats we have. Some are usable, some are not usable. The association has been declining membership to focus only on sub junior athletes. The inquiries regarding the seniors above eighteen years, eighteen years, which we are not taking, we are not encouraging at all. They are encouraging only sub juniors because we are. Facilities are limited to that only. The government helped them in 1997, leaving them to reuse equipment ever since. Government did help us during 1997 games, national games here in Karnataka. Temperance were using repair, 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 repair. Ultimately, they are become big zero now. Players also expressed their concerns about the equipment. The other states, their uh, quality of the boats is. really different but practicing work there it's quite easy we do need more quality of the boats and oars the sorry state of non mainstream sports continues sumeet bilgi city cast battle depression and other mental disorders the physical way our reporter parak mehra finds out that increasing number of people are turning to yoga for cure Deepa has been battling with acute depression over the past few years. She has found that yoga has helped her overcome her disorder. I hurt my I commit for suicide and I want to die that's why I'm here. Hurt in my hand. There now exists scientific proof that yogic exercises like Kapalbhati and Sudarshan Kriya have improved the condition of patients. Last decade in these 10 years the research in yoga has tremendously increased. Rise in number of patients of mental disorders such as chronic depression, schizophrenia, stress have resulted in increase in number of patients from 100 to 140 in past 6 months. Yeah, in the last 6 months there was a definite increase in the number of patients who are coming for yoga. Yoga is quickly turning out to be a cleaner, cheaper and healthier way of treatment. This is Palak Mehra reporting for Citycast. Regenerative braking system, long lasting battery and a powerful technology. Now you can find all this under one roof. Our reporter Moina Pal tells you about the increasing number of customers opting for Reva E20. The new Reva E2O has no engine. It has zero emissions. It can keep up with the performance with remote diagnostic tools. It also sends regular alerts via SMS or email if any fault is detected and can be charged by solar cells installed on the roof. However, the solar charge and charging panels are present only in the higher models of the E2O. Some of them is regenerative braking and the sheer frugality of the drive. It's a V plus point for me moving from an IC based engine. The Mahindra Reva E2O uses a lithium ion battery pack. and can be charged to give a full mileage of 100 kilometers it is bigger and more efficient than the previous reva the cost of the reva has increased but now there are more and better features than the previous versions technical specifications uh, there is a big big change um, from from the The new Mahindra Reva utilizes the latest regenerative braking system. The Reva has 10 onboard computers that monitor every part to ensure the car is running smooth. The cost has increased but now there are better features than the previous versions. The rental battery program tries to reduce the carbon footprint and the car has zero emissions. There are no greenhouse gases being emitted from the vehicle. This feature hopes to attract more customers. Moina Pal reporting for Citycast. That's all we have for today. For more news, log on to citycast.in. Thank you.